Welcome back to Allie's Space to Craft, and I'm trying to finish up my vacation page kits. Um, they're, the subject is a vacation, and I'm taking these page kits on vacation with me so that I can um, do some crafting on my cruise. So I have three more sets of photos. One is a dinner um, in our resort. One is pool at the pool. And then one is kind of a Mayan festival they had one evening. So I pulled out all of my beach related um, kits, collections. This is Echo Park Beach Day. I have. Um, an Echo Park sticker book. I'm not sure if I have the the actual page kit for that. Just some bits and pieces. This one is a Bella Boulevard beachy kit. I've used that recently in a in a page kit. Um, I may go back and look at that one because it may have some some pieces in there that I want to add to one of those page kits. This one um, I like the colors. Uh, of that one with the the dinner and then this is the one I really like for the um, for the pool pictures and then I have summertime most of these kits I got in their warehouse sales when you can get them for like seven seven dollars a piece $7.50 a piece. It's super cheap. But so I've I've got two of those collections for two of the kits. The third one I'm going to um, actually use. I, I, I had this endless summer in two different kits. So I'm just combining those together. So I think I want to lean into this old creative memories. I only have two pages left of this. Um, it was a page kit essentially and I like the colors of it for the Mayan and I like the shape of the suns for the sort of Mayan festival these stickers I don't think are going to be great I am going to look for some other some other things um, but I have these two pieces of paper I do need to add more paper to it um, because it will be a two-page layout and I don't want just a huge chunk of that sun like that together doesn't look good I need to do some some paper piecing um, and I haven't figured out how I'm going to a, a layout yet but I know that I will need to add more paper I do have some scraps and some some photo mats I'm just looking at this to see if the if the colors are there. I do check a couple of these kits to see if the colors will work. This yellow, I mean this orange might have worked, but I decide to instead um, focus on more Creative Memories papers. And I think that that will serve me better just because this uh, page kit was very distressed and the Echo Park stuff is not distressed at all. They're much more graphic than distressed. Um, this one this, it has dark blue and little light blue checks on it so for a while I think okay that's maybe the answer and then I'm gonna go off and check my stash of tone on tone and, and colored papers that I have. And this blue one is an old Creative Memories blue, and I think that looks pretty good. It's not a perfect match, but it's it's pretty good. So I'm going to put this Echo Park sheet away. This page kit took me quite a while. I think over 40 minutes. I've of course have um, accelerated that for you and cut out any of the times where I was just off searching for something. So that's feeling a little better. I will, of course, add some white cardstock to it as well. And now um, I, I was looking for some more blue. I find this lighter blue. It's a solid, but I like it with it. 
and that will, you know, lighten things up a bit. And then I want to pull some additional orange. So I'm just finding some more of those um, photo mats that I have. So I find a whole bunch of those and they are of course perfect with this um, because they're from the same color family um, in the, uh, the color way in the, in, as the kit. And I find some of the darker blue. So that's good for um, matting the photos or um, even cutting titles and things like that. All right, so I'm gonna cut a piece of wax paper to use to look for some stickers that will go with this. I like the flip-flops. There's not a ton because again, it's, you know, distressed, but I'm just looking for a few tropical things. I decide I really like this uh, guitar since it, there was music and fun stuff happening. And, um, ladies in Mayan costumes and stuff. Just checking those, so especially some of this super old stash. I'm just trying to check and see if it will work. Just checking this other book to see if there's anything in here. And I think I pull a couple of things out of this one. This is uh, Simple Stories Retro Summer. Oh, maybe I don't. I think I do that for a different page kit. I am going to go ahead and keep this Creative Memory sticker sheet in there, even though there's not a ton in there that I think I can use. But if I take it on the vacation with me, maybe it'll find its way onto another page as well. Just doing lots of double checking of things. And I'm just checking the colorway on things. Will, will it work? Will it not work? This tag I got in a swap um, with Ginger's Corner. And then I've put two different sets of letters out. This, these blue ones, I think, have the right distressed look and will look good with it. Um, and then I have a yellow and orange polka dot letters. So I do start looking for enamel dots and I can only find two. I can find yellow and I can find blue and I can't really find the right orange. So I struggle with that for a while. And then I decide, let's look through my Queen and Company gems and enamel dots and things like that and see if I have something better in that. Now this um, one set I have down is Adventurous by Paige Evans and that does make it into a different kit um, later in this video. And I figure with these page kits as I'm building things, especially these beachy things, if I have stuff left over, I will, I will have those things for other pages. So I've found some yellow um, and they're sort of glittery. And some blue and some orange. So I think that I found, um, and, and the look of them looks good with this paper as well. It looks better than the enamel dots, which are a real, you know, the enamel dots can be a real clean look. 
and these um, these little gems are great. So now I just start flipping through my, this is my travel. So it's got travel and beach and outdoors. And here's another tag that I got in the same swap as that other one. And I think I may try and get that onto the layout as well. I may not, it may come home with me. We'll see. So if you haven't, if you, if you struggle with your ephemera, go back and watch one of my organizing my ephemera um, videos where I put these binders together by different topics. So for example, all my photo corners are on that page, all my cameras are on this page, and it makes it a lot easier. And then everything's by color. Um, so I have red pages, orange pages, and things like that. And then I have certain binders for topics. So I have a florals binder, a travel binder. This is my regular, just icons, binder, tags and shapes and whatever. Um, and those are all in rainbow order. And then, um, and then I have an animals binder as well. And then I think in the animals binder, I also have some seasons. So that's where I put Halloween, or maybe it's in florals. I have Halloween and springtime, um, things like that. So I did pull out some tags that did, were not part of this page kit, but are part of that, um, that time period and, and color scheme in Creative Memories, and so they match perfectly. So here I'm just putting all my ephemera into a little envelope so they can stay contained. And I'm just going to double check because there were some flowers on that tag. And I'm just looking to see, do I have some flowers that might work? And I really, I just didn't. I may have to try and cut some. I may bring a cup of floral die cut uh, dies with me that I can use. All right, so I'm really happy with this page kit. It took a while to get there. The other ones go a little faster. Well, about twice as fast, actually, because I sort of stick within the page kit for the most part. So I'm just double checking that I know which page kits, um, which collections I want for each page kit. So this one, I'm going to start with and I really like that sort of soft aqua color. And then there are some tags. I don't like that bold one as well. I don't necessarily want the stripes. I think a little swap swatch of that might work. And then there are a couple of cut aparts that I really liked. So this will just be a one page layout. So I probably have way more paper than I need for it. So I do like this and it pulls out some of the colors that we're wearing. And instead of taking the whole sheet of cut aparts, I'm going to cut a couple. And then there's these flamingos. So I'm not sure I'm gonna use all three of these. And then these uh, little tickets, I'm gonna just cut a, a strip of those tickets off. And then I can fussy cut them to put as ephemera on the paper or as a strip. So that was my thought process there and just trying to minimize the number of things that I take with me. So I take those two. And now I'll tackle the sticker sheet. 
As you can see, I've already used some stickers off this sticker sheet. I really liked that. I may use that as the title. It just says summer. And so I could do summer and then dinner, the word dinner below it or something. There's some little stars, some little things. The flamingo, if I'm going to use that flamingo paper, I thought that would be appropriate. And then the colorway, I think, really coordinates pretty well with this retro summer. So I'm going to pull a few things off of this to use as well, like that tiki torch. And then this whole set, I do have that word summer, but I think I might want to um, add the word dinner um, with these letters that match. Even though they're completely different manufacturers, um, it's and these are more flat stickers, and the the uh, Echo Park ones are a little uh, glossier; they're less matte. So it will provide different textures. I think there's one that says "yummy." So I just had to put that on the back. All right, so that's another page kit finished. Um, did I pull enamel dots for this one? I can't remember. Oh, I went in and was looking. Um, I found this in my little bin of ephemera that I haven't put away yet. And I saw that and thought, oh, it matches perfectly. So let's see if I have more. So I end up with a lot of stuff for this page, but I'm okay with it. So these are already sort of layered florals. So we'll see if I use them all. Whatever I don't use will just come home and get put away after, after the cruise. The one good thing is on this cruise, we only have to fly one direction. So um, we're, we come in close to my hometown. We're doing a transatlantic cruise. So that's gonna be super fun. All right, on to the last page kit. So this makes 10 page kits for my vacation. And because I've done all the sorting beforehand, it's probably not gonna take me that long to do the pa each page. So I'm thinking I'm probably gonna to need to take some more stuff with me. So I'm going to make some, um, prep some stuff for cards, plus I'll have probably some um, scraps from some of these pages that I can use for cards as well. And then I just need to take a couple of pre-made sentiments, maybe some stamps. Now, I love this paper, so I didn't want to cut the, the blue off the back because I want to keep that paper for something where I have just one or two small photos that I can use. So um, I like this water paper for this a lot since it's in the pool. And then I'm just looking at what other papers there's a um i think there's a sun paper here as well this one has uh, pineapples on it on the yellow but i'm really using it for the cut aparts so there's that white with yellow sun and i think i'm going to make sort of a scene with the blue water on the bottom and the sun on the top, but I want some sort of strip to separate them. So I just need to decide what color. And then I have this icon paper that I was thinking about using. Um, and then I have that page that I loved. There's a large 
Um, and this is going to be a two-page layout, so maybe I'll have room for all these things I'm cutting. So I have that icon paper, and, and I'm thinking, well, the icons are fun, and they might work, but the back of it doesn't really help me, and I need... I just want something to separate that. I may look and see if I have maybe ribbon or something. That might be fun. But in the meantime, I cut a strip of, oh, I just include the whole yellow. I thought I cut a strip of it, of the orange. I love the turquoise and orange together, always. So if I need that, and then I'll have it for matting photos if I want to and things like that. I maybe should have gotten some more yellow out. I may have to go back in and add some yellow scraps to this. Um, I do add white cardstock, but I think I may want some other, I'll have the orange. I may want to mat with some yellow as well. I'm not sure. Because my daughter's wearing a yellow bathing suit in all these pictures. So I pull all the fish off of this sticker sheet because she was swimming like a fish. She was three and a really good swimmer by this point. And then I just pull a few florals and I try and only pick the florals that sort of have the same kind of feel. And then I did swim trunks because my dad, she was swimming with my dad, her granddad. And then I probably find some wordy bits. So um, in another video coming up this week, I will also sort of pack my go bag, my scrapbooking staples, and, and show you what all I'm going to take with me in addition to the page kits. So brown ink, black ink, daubers, scissors, 12-inch uh, trimmer, those sorts of things. So I'll put together... Um, my my tools kit um, and I'll do that in a video so I'm pulling out some of the um, pool uh, ephemera from a, uh, a a main swap on Ginger's corner I'm really happy to be able to make use of it I do think about using this pool vibes for the title um, but I decide to hold off. We have a pool in our backyard, and so I have lots and lots of pool pictures um, coming up. In the so I will not have any trouble using pool photos. And then I also decide to add, in addition to these Paige Evans um, Adventurous, I add some of these water droplet um, flatbacks. So stay tuned for me to make all these in the coming weeks, and I've got more prep to do for my vacation. Thanks a lot, you guys.